if you are fishing a lake that you are struggling to catch lake trout and you, you know where they are, but they're just not taking artificial baits, this is a rig that's gonna really trigger those lake trout into biting for you. This is the most natural bait you can throw in front of them. It's a, it's a frozen dead Cisco, and it's just the most natural presentation you can do, and it has that slow death roll to it as well. So that can really trigger slow fish into biting. So if you're struggling to get them on a certain water body, try this rig for them. This will really, really increase your odds of catching them. This is a really effective lake trout bait to troll, and this works really well on pressured waters or waters that you're searching for a giant and you can't get them on anything else. So here's my inline weight. Got four or five feet of fluorocarbon. I'm just gonna drop this down there and pull it. So you can see the bait there, just doing that slow death roll, spinning in the water, just perfect, looking like a wounded Cisco. You wanna maintain a really slow speed. And I'm trying to keep that uh, motor running anywhere between 1.5 to 2.5 miles an hour. And that 1.5 to 1.9 is really the key, key uh, speed for me here. So I'm targeting open water structure here. I've got a deep sunken reef here that uh, has about 100 feet of water all the way around it. And then on the top of this reef, it actually comes up to about 30 feet. So there'll be different depths on this reef from about 60 to 30 feet. But my bait, I'm running about 30 to 35 feet. I'm just keeping it, uh, dragging it right across that shallow part of the reef. And that's where these Cisco's are feeding and these lake trout are taking advantage of it. They're coming out of that deep water. And they're really targeting these Cisco's that feed on this deep open water reef. These lake trout are opportunistic feeders and uh, when you roll this Cisco rig by with that slow death roll, there's really no reason for them not to strike it. If you put it right in the strike zone, they're, they're going to hit this bait. So that's why if, you, if you're struggling on your waters to catch lake trout on traditional baits, try throwing one of these Cisco rigs and you're just gonna slow it right down. It's like running a bottom bouncer with a worm harness in the middle of summer or a leech for uh, walleyes. That's, that's what this rig kind of resembles in the lake trail world. So definitely try this out. It's a good one to have in your bag of tricks and it'll put more lake trout at the boat for you. All right, I'm coming across the backside of this island with a lot of reef structure. And I just hooked up on a fish and uh, today I'm using a bait that I wanted to show everybody and it works really well for catching lake trout on lakes that uh, really if you struggle catching them on spoons or crankbaits or any other type of bait this bait will actually produce a lot of lake trout for you and this bait also can be used in uh, lakes that have big big lake trout if you get the right spot you can catch some giants on it if you can't catch them on uh, other methods this one's feeling like a pretty good fish it's got a lot of weight to it fishing about 30 feet down and uh, ripped it across that reef and as soon as that uh, weight was bouncing across that reef this fish smashed it this one feels pretty heavy oh yeah I'm using a heavy rod here too. Well, this is a good fighting fish. Does not want to come up that last five feet as soon as it sees that daylight. It is hot enough for that. This is a nice laker for this lake. There we go. Quickly get this fish unhooked and I'll show you what we got here. Well, here we are, check that out. A nice Sullivan Lake lake trout. And for the water I'm fishing, that's a quality lake trout. Nice and heavy. And that fish put up one heck of a fight. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water right away here. We'll get one last look at it. All right. And there he goes, right back to the deep. All right, so I'm quickly gonna show you how to build one of these rigs. So all you need is your fluorocarbon of choice. And uh, I'm running 15 pound here for these lake trout where I'm at. You need your, uh, your bait heads and a, uh, a treble hook. So I like to use the black oxide tre coated treble hooks. They're just a little bit uh, stronger and sharper. So you take your fluorocarbon, get your bait head, and you'll see that there's a uh, a little hole in the front nose of the bait head. So you're gonna stick your fluorocarbon through there 
And then there's also another hole at the back of the bait head. So the line goes through the front nose and then through the back of the bait head. So once you have the line fed through the nose and the tail of the bait head, you go to your treble hook and uh, you're just going to tie on whatever your preferred knot is. I'm just going to do a quick fisherman's knot here. All right, once you have your knot tied, now you have kind of this slip mounted uh, bait head on your line. So you're going to take about four or five feet of this. Depending on the length of your rod, don't make this longer than the length of your rod, you're going to have trouble netting your fish. So on the opposite end, you're going to need a swivel because the Cisco rig is going to spin in the water. So you need to put a swivel on there to keep the twists out of your main line. So that's it. This is a simple, simple rig and it's really easy to make, doesn't take a lot of gear. So you've got your treble hook, and you've got your bait head, you can see the hole in the back and in the front, you can feed the line through both ends. Then you've got about uh, four or five feet of fluorocarbon up to a swivel. And then you're gonna tie your main line on there. Always make sure you use a heavier main line. I'm using a, uh, a 20 pound braid on there. So you can see on this bait head here that there's a, uh, there's a hole with a little pin in it. So these Trigger X ones actually come with these pins. So I'm gonna pop that pin out. Now you're gonna take your bait. We're using is uh, Cisco's. These, these lakes are full of Cisco's. These are just store-bought frozen Cisco's. So you're gonna take your Cisco and you're gonna put the, uh, the head of the Cisco into the bait holder. As far in there as you can. And then you're actually gonna stick the pin through the bait holder until it goes through the opposite side. So now, you're going to take your treble hook. You're just gonna put one hook in the back of the Cisco. Now you're gonna to have to experiment with this and see what kind of spin rate you get on that Cisco depending on where you put the hook. Well, I headed back in for this morning and I hope this technique helps you catch some more lake trout on your waters and uh, you can put it to use maybe. And if you do, let me know in the comments how it worked for you. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.